So let us take a look at how Laravel 5.6 is structured. If you come to a Laravel 5.6 folder structure, let me see if I can zoom in so that we can see um, this. So you have to manage uh, the interface. So the first place where your HTML files are stored in Laravel is in resources folder. So if I click on resources folder and I click on views, folder i will see the folders that contain the html files for instance this is a html file in laravel 5.6 laravel uses blade templating engine which they have been using for uh, previous versions now instead of doing a putting dot html at the end of a file they put dot blade dot php because laravel html files also contain php code so it has to end with .php. So if you click here, you're going to see something that looks like HTML mixed with something that looks like PHP. You see? So this is HTML. All right. And then you see things that somehow look like PHP. These are the blade, blade template, templating engine code. All right. All these add section and these are that. Okay, cool. Now, um, Laravel has a very smart way of allowing you create folders to manage your different sections of your application for instance my about page code might be inside a folder called about my uh, contact us page codes might be or files might be inside a folder called contact us so if i was creating a banking application maybe customers there will be customers folder that will contain 10 20 30 files that have to do with customer uh, creation of customers editing of customer profile and so on then we can have like a um, payments folder that has to do with processing of payment all the files that have to do with that okay so um here we have something unique that came with um this templating engine uh or boilerplate uh, generator which is the infiom uh, infiom has already created a user registration login and forgot password recovery system for us this is the folder where you're going to see the HTML files that make that up. Remember that there are also PHP files. Then there are database files. We're going to go to those folders uh, going forward. But let's see where the HTML files are stored. So if you come to auth, you will see that there is, for instance, login.blade.php. So if you look at this login.blade.php, you start seeing things that look familiar. For instance, you can see HTML. And then you can see head section and then you can see body and so on so uh this is incredibly awesome look at this head section body and so on this is cool all right now um if you look at this login.blade.php and you scroll down um you will see that there is a form you see form group d see form see this form this form started and ended here so this is the login form that has password field and then email field so if we go to our app we'll see that there's email field and passport field even here there's infium generator so just to prove to you uh, that we're on the right page look at infium generator we can call it laravel lara jobs okay laravel jobs so this is beautiful if we come here and we refresh we are gonna see boom laravel jobs okay so remember that we're on the login page uh we still have to do something like that for the for the registration page and the forgot password page so if we go to register page we're gonna go scroll down a little we say if you we call it laravel and then we'll call it jobs okay this is beautiful and uh, we can do the same thing let's just refresh here just to be sure that what we did worked Boom, Laravel jobs. Finally, we're going to do it for the forgot password page. So I have to click here and uh, come to, I forgot my password. And in this page, we're going to do the same modification. On the passwords folder, we're going to see um, email. We look for infium, call it Laravel jobs. Laravel jobs, beautiful, we refresh. You see it has changed. Let's just do it one more for this guy. The infium we call it Laravel jobs. 
So this is what the full HTML for part of Laravel looks like. Before I proceed to another type of Laravel, let me show you how to install. Uh, in case your HTML is not appearing properly mixed with um, this, we need to install an extension in our editor, which is inside VS Code, that will show us exactly, that will help us to color these things properly or highlight this syntax. They call it syntax highlighting. So if we come here on our code editor, so we'll click on extensions. So these are enabled extensions, then these are recommended extensions. So Laravel 5 snippets seem to be enabled, and it 4 simple snippets, and uh, Laravel blade snippets. So we have to remove at least one of these. Uh, one of them is not coloring this thing well. I already have this, so if you don't already have this, just search for it. Type here Laravel snippets, or Laravel whatever. So we don't need Laravel docs, so we're going to remove it, disable, disable, uninstall. Uh, it's gone, Lara Blade. So I'm going to, as much as possible, disable many of this. Lara Blade, disable. So I'm looking for the one that is messing up my Lara Blade snippets. Okay, good. So, uh, what you should download is Laravel, Lara, Lara Blade Snippets. So, let's see. Reloading. So, I already have it. That's why that list is there. So, the one you should download is Lara Blade Snippets or Snippets, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's going to color your blade templating engine properly. Now, if you download multiple like I did before, you're going to run into the issue of um, so many different... A syntax highlighting engines trying to work the same time and the coloring will be messed up but uh, we just want like this the coloring will be awesome as we just have here so this is incredibly okay so basically if you want to download it you do lara lara blade so you see you'll see the lara blade and then you click install so that's how to do that Okay, so in my own case, you just go to, you just have to download Lara Blade. Okay, that's in case your issue, you're having this um, kind of issue. But if you're not having the issue, that's okay. That means you've been coding Laravel in the past. So now the next thing we're going to do is to look at how, uh, get back to folder, I'll click here. So we're back to this, I'll minimize this. So let's look at this other folder. This folder is called the console. Uh, it's called the app folder. This is where your PHP files are resident. The first PHP file you will need to look at is the first one that comes with Laravel. It's called user.php. This is a model file. This model file handles um, relationships between your application and the database table that um, you need to connect to. We're going to get to database tables, but I just want to explain here. So what happens is that this is the user user uh, model, user.php. It comes default with all Laravel installations. Um, once you run, uh, once you create a login system or authentication system, it will come with it. So it tells us that the, the um, first of all, um, here we can specify um, the fields that can be created in a form, all right? So the three fields are name, email, and password. If we have other fields, we'll uh, gradually add them here. Then it specifies the name of the table that you're working with in the database. So these are hidden fields, password and the remember token. These fields cannot be allowed to display on the form. Once somebody's entering their password, they're going to see a hidden stuff. So there is a verified add field. So it just... Um, mentioning the connection now if your database is called users for instance the database table name is users then laravel will automatically know the table you're talking about you don't need to specify it here but um if you have a table called you if you have a file called user or class called user like this and your your table name is something else let's say employer employees employees 
if the table name is employees on the database and on your file here it is called user then you have to specify you type table uh, public table then you specify it here so we're going to get to that later but i just want to show you that this specify the relationship so if your user table is related to accounts table in a many to many relationship this is where you're going to tell laravel that relationship we'll get to that further down the tutorial okay all the entire relationships between your tables these model files handle it so going forward we might create a special folder which i love to do so that we can dump all our laravel model files inside it okay but by default laravel will just dump them directly in the root folder of app which i don't personally like then the next most important file to, uh, folder to look into is the http this folder is awesome in the sense that it has controllers folder which is what we're looking for controller is where you write all your business logic okay so business logic like um when the user logs in what do you do after the user logs in you take their uh, email go check in the database whether it's correct check, take their password hash it go check in the database come back all those things if somebody makes a payment what do you do you go to the database to check whether they paid the correct amount they should pay and if they paid you update your table it's all inside this is where you create the files you're supposed to need it as you can see laravel has created one two three four files for us and not just that it's since it has already built a login system it puts all the folders for all the files for that login system here so let me drag this so if i drag this look at um where we are we are inside let me just zoom back so in case you're confused we're inside app folder that is inside http and then we're inside controllers then there is a folder called auth this folder has the the business logic for managing forgot password business logic for managing login business logic for managing registration interesting see beautiful you see see it's hashing this is where it's hashing the password when you want to create a new account it takes your email password and it hashes it and uh, saves it in the database beautiful and then reset password business logic password verification account verification from email see awesome all right so these things come by default and infiom created them for us okay or at least laravel created it infiom modified it and designed it for us all right so now we understand the basic folders we'll be working with uh i will reveal more folders as we go forward but um people used to ask where do i start designing my laravel app like now we have installed everything which folder should you start with the folder I personally normally start with is the folder where I specify the database details, how many tables we want, um, how many fields we need in that table, and uh, how each table is related to another table. And that file is called the migration. Uh, so if you go to database folder, you see migrations, you click on migrations, you see that three have already been created for you. Remember that we already have a full authentication system. So as you can see, users migration file has already been created password reset okay and fail jobs file so if i click on users migration you see that it specifies that the table name must be users you see uh, in the database we're going to get to tables in the next video and then you can see that the table ha we have how many fields one two three four five six seven around eight fields one of the fields will be id another one will be name email and so on so this is the file you specify all these things then when you run a command in your command line it's going to go to your database in php my admin and create all this a create a table that has this so in the next video we're going to go to our, our database and continue thank you very much see you in the next video